Hello, Hakuna Matata, everyone. It's Saturday, February 24th, and we are essentially done with the bus. We got our new tires and wheels installed. I do want to get hubcaps for it. Uh, I just haven't decided which ones I want to get, and, and also uh, lug nut covers. Um, it's done. The solar's done. The AC's been running now for over a week, continuous on solar, which is just absolutely wonderful. And... Uh, it's just like finishing touches. Like I gotta put some magnets on the blinds on the on the front door there to keep the blinds from moving around and And today I I guess it's like the only last thing to do is uh we're making little dividers <clears throat> for the kitchen drawers for the silverware and the cutlery. So um both of these sheets are for one drawer. This is gonna be an upper tray. And this is going to be the lower tray. This is pretty big. This is about 30 inches wide on the outside. And this length is 21 and a half depth, I guess I should say. And the height of it is four inches. It's four inches tall for the bottom tray and two and a quarter inches tall for the top tray. So these are where our knives are going to be installed. We have six fine cutlery knives and then all the spoons and forks and serving spoons and stuff are going to go here. That's all going to be the chop tray. And this is going to be all like the spatulas and the, the potato mashers and all that good stuff. The, the steel for sharpening knives is going to go back here. Um, so I uh, went to Home Depot today. We bought some wood already got one piece this thing's been severely abused been sitting on the floor it's got metal shavings embedded in it from walking on the darn thing that's aluminum so that's not so bad but the wood's beat up uh, we're gonna cut this down to a half inch thick for the outer perimeter these are going to be quarter inch thick spacers for the silverware. And these are going to be solid blocks that are going to be seven eighths of an inch wide. No, I'm sorry. An inch and a half ish wide. Right there, that's an inch and nine sixteenths, but we're compromising. We're going to make that an inch and a half. The grooves are going to be a hair wider. And um, those will be, what is it? Two inches tall as it shows right there, two inches tall on the inside. So I've got one by material that I'm gonna cut to eight inch long pieces. Um, maybe I'll go a little bigger, eight and the eighth or something, and glue them together to get me the inch and a half. Um, I'm gonna do that tonight so the glue can start to dry. And that, pro it's already quarter to seven in the night here, so. It's probably all I'll have a chance to get done before I get too tired. Who knows? But, uh, so I, what I've bought is more of this stuff. This is like grade A pine board. This is what they call select pine. This was a one by four by six feet long that I, I cut a piece of for something else. I can't remember which. But, um... When I rip this piece down to half inch wide or half inch thick, all this ugliness is going to go away. And you know, I've got a groove down there. But I bought me um, an eight foot um, one by three, a five foot one by six, and I think like a six foot one by two. I did all the ciphering when I was in a Home Depot. So I should have enough to make all this. And I also bought a piece of, uh, it's called uh, laminate. I mean, I got it right here in the car. I got to take it out. There's my little woman. How you doing? Where's that piece of wood at right here? This is called uh, underlayment. I'm sorry. It's the only wood that I can 
by and clear conscience for doing this type of work, and I'll show you what's all up with this stuff. That's the old piece, yeah. So if you look at this, this underlayment, I mean, this is like the bad side. And it's just got these tiny little, hardly anything looking marks. And the, I would call this the good side. It's beautiful, smooth as can be, nice stuff. It's called underlayment, man, but it's great, it's great stuff. Now here's the reason why I buy it. If you look at the plies, this is three plies thick. And the plies, this is quarter inch thick. So, I mean, that's a lot of thickness to the plies that lets you sand this thing when you build things. And there's enough wood there to sand. Every other type of wood that you buy is like this Luon. show you how that looks the surface of this luon is like microscopic thin let me see if i can find a spot where it's peeling well there's there's some from an adjacent piece that was glued to it that's the thickness of the outer layer it's a few thousandths of an inch thick You can just barely see the edge. So what happens is if you make something with this and sand it, you can sand right through this outer surface and then the green is going in the opposite direction below it and it looks like hell. So if you go to buy some oak plywood, same problem. You think you're get, gonna be able to build something out of oak where you can't even sand it? I, I don't even know how I could do it, man. Here's another piece of this glue on. I mean, Luan is great stuff. Here you go. You can see right there how thin. Where'd you go? Where is Luan? Right there. How thin the, la the surface ply is on that. And the stuff below it looks like hell. So you really can't, you can't, pretty much you can't sand it. So anyway, enough of that. So I bought this four foot by two foot piece. I think it was about 12 bucks. This will be the bottom of the top shelf. God, I'm all dirty. <clears throat> the bottom of this piece. All right, so let's get started. All right, I just uh, took the blade off my circular saw. This is a rigid six and a half inch. Um, and this is a really, really fine, fine tool. If uh, you're so inclined to have one, um, it's way powerful. And um, it does a great job for me. I, I like it. I've cut a lot of stuff with this and uh, I've grown fond of the six and a half inch instead of seven and a quarter because this, this does everything I need and it's a lot smaller saw and you know, it's light. Anyway, so I just took the blade off and uh, this is a relatively new ba blade, carbide tip spider tarantula. I think I got this at Lowe's. I absolutely just love this blade. It goes through um, wood and, and it's like you can't even tell that the blade is cutting. That's how easy this thing just, just goes right through. It's a sixteenth of an inch thick blade so it doesn't have a big kerf. You're not, you're not removing a lot of wood when you make a cut versus uh, and, oh this is the blade that came with that circular saw which I have beat up really badly with a couple accidents here. I hit some things and knocked the teeth off of it. So this is really a uh, kind of a disposable blade for doing some whatever. You know, I I keep a bunch of blades that are old ones and no longer really good for fine work. Uh, the downside to this blade for what I need to do now is I need to cut 
a two inch tall cut. This blade ain't gonna do it. The most I'm gonna get out of this blade is like an inch and a half or so. Uh, let me tighten that up. Yeah, we're, we're all the way up here and, and I'm at about an inch and a half, which is fine for uh, ripping and cross cutting anything I've got to do, uh, except for this tall work for all these pieces here are two inches tall or yeah, they're two inches. Yeah, two inches tall. So I can't cut any of that tonight, but I can cut these pieces perfectly fine. So we're gonna work on those. Okay, so I got an eight foot piece of this one by three, which is two and a half. Uh, I need two. That leaves me with a half inch piece left over. So I'm gonna rip this first at about two and uh, eighth. I mean, two and sixteenth would be enough. I'll decide on, on that. Um, and the reason why I'm gonna rip it first rather than cross cut it first is I'm gonna use the leftover piece of this. I'm gonna show you where. On the bottom tier. So this is the top shelf. The bottom shelf is the full size of the whole drawer. And it's four inches tall. And I'm not gonna to try to buy solid wood and rip it to a half inch wide. I don't wanna use three quarter inch wide. It'll be just kind of gaudy and take up a lot of drawer space. Half inch is already kind of wide. Three eighths would be fine, really. But I'm gonna go with half just to make it a little bit easier to put together. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to make these pieces out of some half inch plywood that I have in the house, which is not my first choice, but it's an economic decision. I have enough of it to make this whole thing. I don't want to see the end grain on all these pieces. So on all these pieces of wood, I'm going to glue a cap on the top edge of it of some solid pine. And I think that will be that will be maybe enough to do the whole thing or at least half of it but, but uh so yeah let me get my this is my old sled here take that off so we're gonna set up here and do the rip cut now and uh once we rip that piece off to save then we're gonna cross cut this in uh, a little over eight inch long pieces we need two four six eight ten twelve fourteen pieces that are eight inches long to glue together to make these blocks so the knife can sit in the groove between the blocks uh, i did have a piece on the end here that I removed from my drawing. I think I'm just gonna leave those open. The knives don't go long enough to come into the space. I know it might be a little weird having those unfinished end on there, but I'm going with it. Okay, what did that come out to be? About two and a sixteenth. So that gives me a 16th inch to trim. And now we're set up here with the sled so I can make a nice 90. So technically, my miter saw would be the right tool to be making these cross cuts. But that blade is beat. I've been cutting all kinds of stuff with that. Uh, and this thing is just so nice to work with. So we're gonna use this one. And I've set up my fence here to eight and three quarters about eight and seven eighths so we should be cutting around eight and an eighth i'm just searching for eight inches on these uh, and i put this piece of wood here so that this won't have an opportunity to get turned in here and, and locked and bind on the blade and come back and hit me potentially 
it's just, it's just for safety that I'm doing this. And uh, I'll be able to cut all my pieces all the same length with this method and safer. So let me get that cut. I'm gonna need how many of those again? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Okay, I screwed up already. Maybe I shouldn't even be working tonight. Uh, I wasn't supposed to cut this piece. That was an old plan. Dang it. So I'm not even gonna try to figure out where this goes right now. Uh, I think, I don't know. I don't know where this goes, I forgot. But uh, trying to figure out what wood to use, I ended up buying this one by six for this. Oh gosh. So this will pro provide me enough wood to make these pieces, whereas the uh, eight footer over there won't. I just realized when I started to do the math in my head, this is a, what, a five footer? Check this. Pretty sure this is five feet, no, six feet. And I'll be able to get um, one, two pieces of two inch out of it. So it's like having a 12 footer. These other ones aren't that long enough to make two pieces out of, out of what I need. So, all right, I gotta start over here uh, with my logic. I'm gonna rip this to the two and a 16th, get two pieces. Uh, I'm gonna turn my table saw 90 degrees again. Uh, that'll give me a, re a usable piece that I can cut off here that'll be the full length. And I can use that for other parts. And then we'll set up like this again to uh, cut the eight, eight inch long pieces. Okay, we got that done correctly. Uh, I got some people over right now. They're picking up the old wheels from my bus. I gave them uh, the old wheels. The tires are really no good. They're just too old to be using, but they want them for some semi-trailers. And the rims are good. So they got four good rims and a bunch of tires. Uh, so I got to help them guys out and uh, hopefully I'll, all said and done, I'll be able to have time left over this to come back and glue these pairs together. And then they'll be able to call that a night. Okay, um, this is kind of a dry fit here. There's no glue, but I got all my wax paper pieces figured out and I got little blocks here so I don't dent the wood. And I'm gonna get the little woman to help me glue all this up. And uh, yeah, we're in good shape here. All right. All right, that's it for a day. I've got these clamped down to my table saw through here and I've got uh, these guys squeezing it this way and we use the clamp across here to even them up and it's pretty close um, this thing here is likely to be freaking glued on there that's gonna be a problem I, I need to take that off and redo that Okay, that's better. I put a double layer of wax paper here. So that'll come apart tomorrow. And uh, hopefully all this will separate. I think we're okay. That one tore right there a little bit, but tomorrow's gonna be showtime. <laughs>